dig what it do man y'all know what it is already it's your boy d and welcome to the channel and my line though man watch who you know and know who the hell you watch let's get it subscribe 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 the warriors address it, they suffer regain order. The boss comes first, the rest is added on it. The warriors address it, they suffer regain order. The boss comes first, the rest is added on it. Fantasia. Fantasia. Now, she had a situation. I guess that, uh, what they call it, an Airbnb or whatnot. So let's just get right on into it and I'm going to tell y'all what I think. It says, What could have been a weekend of fun and celebration for Fantasia and her family was instead a sore experience by an allegation of racial profiling. Okay, here we go. The actress has been in the media for all of the right reasons for weeks. Um... She's, she's done uh, the color purple, of course, you know what I mean? But the joy of a successful press tour leading up to the film's Christmas Day debut and her son Dallas Xavier's birthday were disrupted by a nightmare Airbnb stay. And this was just Saturday on the 16th of December now. Um, so the American Idol winner... Um, on the 17th, she had tweeted, it said, my stomach is so uneasy this morning as I'm riding back to my home in the cold and rain. I don't say much when people do me wrong, but I can't stay quiet on how my family and I was just treated by a host with Airbnb trying to kick my kids out and me at 12 midnight. Now, additional details, such as the fact that the singer other guardians and seven kids vacated the property at 6 a.m. and images of their activities were shared on Instagram. Now, her tweet would even go on to state that the host expressed an issue with her throwing a party and outdoor noise after various ring cameras had captured a game truck and balloons that were delivered to the residents. Now, Fantasia said that the host did not prohibit any gatherings and that the number of the guests who stayed overnight was actually in accordance with her reservation. Now, it's very evident that from the sands on the wall to the outdoor fire pit, jacuzzi, and the well-equipped game room in the garage, poker table, that people host parties and or gatherings here on the lake often. Now, is there was also weights with balloons, ribbon, uh, that kind of stuff was left in the garage from a previous party at that same actual house she had continued on. Now, uh, Fantasia declared that the real issue was not the party, but instead had more to do with race. The Oscar hopeful wrote, it's evident to me that this was racial profiling and the treatment we received was due to the color of our skin. I wanted my son to enjoy his friends, 10 to 12 years old, and make him feel special as I have been traveling for the last 35 plus days promoting the movie that I star in. This time, I dare not stay quiet. Now. So the company actually replied to the tweet and they stated that it does not condone discrimination in any kind of way, but it also requested that she follow up with her booking details as the issue is looked into. Now, is this something that many people do when they feel they're being treated um, unfairly? Is run to the racial profiling thing? Or was it really a racial profiling type of situation? She basically was saying they was telling her she couldn't groove like they was grooving, but it was things that was left around from a previous, um, I guess, customer or client that it was evident that they actually had a party as well. And it was outside because of the blue ribbons and 
the way the balloon ribbons and everything, you know, was she too loud? You know, could that be the case? And other people was um, complaining because she was outside. Now, and I'm gonna be honest with you now. Should she had a? If she didn't, should she have a, actually read uh, the agreement? You know, I'm not saying she didn't, but I'm not saying she did. Now, is it possible that she didn't read it fully and didn't get to see uh, everything she really couldn't and could do? And that's why she probably felt like it was racial profiling because it was something that she missed and something that she didn't read? Is that it? Could that be it? Or is it really racial profiling though? Off of that story, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all really think that that could have been um, a case of racial profiling or do y'all think that maybe she just took it a little, little bit too far in her thinking and her emotion um her emotions on it man let's talk about it down there in them comments man y'all know what it is man subscribe hit that bell right on after that you can thumbs up or thumb down either way it go hit that comment section man let's talk i want to know what y'all think y'all think this was real racial profiling or not what did what what y'all think man and it's your boy, man. Y'all know what it is already, man. Love the life that you live and the loyalty that's within it, man. I'm out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. The warriors address it. They up regain order. The boss comes first. The rest is added on it. The warriors address it. They up regain order. The boss comes first. The rest is added on it.